biggest and best race in American history. This is the capital of stage racing in America. Another huge success. We'll take many of the world's best cyclists through more than a dozen Colorado cities to showcase different pieces of the state every year to an international TV audience. Denver is going to be the center of national attention. Challenging terrain draws in some of the best in the sport. Tour de France riders, world champions, national champions, guys from all over the world. Thousands of people on the sides of the road. The 2012 U.S. Pro Challenge, the best and biggest cycling event in the country. We're going to see the best cyclists in the world come through here in a few minutes. More than 42,000 feet of vertical climbs of the USA Pro Challenge, unlike any bike race in the world. The most difficult stage of the US Pro Challenge this year, two times going over 12,000 feet, is almost unheard of. Right up over Independence Pass. It is as difficult as any cycling stage in the world. It's been called one of America's toughest cycling races. There was not a single boring finish in any of these stages. There was a new leader every day. Just fantastic for the state, great for the riders, great for bicycling as well. Besides the Olympics, probably the best day I've ever had on a bicycle. Racers of this caliber passing through our town is just awesome. Two years in a row we've had the best field to ever compete on American soil. Christian Van der Bell is going to set himself up for the win in this race. That was a great finish. Biggest win of my career in front of these crowds. That, that's the biggest thing. Speechless about the crowds today. It was fantastic. It felt like a European race. There were tons of people. I could not believe the crowds. One of the largest in U.S. cycling history. There's just been fantastic coverage of Colorado all week long. More than one million people are going to watch this in person. This race is awesome. Seeing all the fans and, and the party and the music and everybody dressed up. The population of Durango could actually double today with all the people coming to town. Hotels are packed, restaurants are packed. Not only brought in riders from all over, but visitors from across the United States. It received 31 hours of national television coverage. They're broadcasting this thing to 180 countries around the globe. There are sports reporters from everywhere following this race. The athletes like it, the fans like it, people watching on international TV love it. Great day for Colorado, great day for cycling. The U.S. Pro Challenge is here to stay. Riders love this race. Over a million fans came out to watch it. Colorado is on the map. They're calling it the Tour de France of America. You can get autographs with guys who have won the Tour de France. Cadell Evans is here. And you're just inches away from her. The USA Pro Challenge does a phenomenal job just showcasing the state. I'm blown away. I tip my hat to everybody around here in Colorado. These riders from all over the world, they love coming to America, especially places like Colorado. I think we're going to see this get bigger and bigger and bigger. This is America's race. I mean, this race is the essence, that kind of Colorado independence. And next thing you know, all of a sudden, it's this world-class event. Terrific finish of Tour de France proportions.